guys welcome 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 back to the channel if you are a subscriber and welcome to the channel if you are new first off don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all tutorials mods that you can do to Grand Theft Auto 5 especially LSPDFR which is the mod the role playing mod that allows you to play as a police officer in Grand Theft Auto 5 is a very um, expansive mod it helps you to um, it allows you I mean to add vehicles from different um, states and city in the United States or worldwide it's a very nice mod and to me it's the most realistic mod uh, for playing as a police officer that we have out here um, and um, hit that like button hit that thumbs up to spread this video so today we are gonna be doing a tutorial on how to use ELS using a controller um, I had problem with this and I'm sure that a few people have problems with this so today I decided I'm gonna make a quick tutorial to show you guys how to use ELS on a controller so first off you make make sure it must is this is very important that you have an ELS compatible vehicle so when you download a vehicle for your game it must be ELS compatible now when you get into the vehicle like right now I'm using a 2014 um, Dodge Charger for the New York State Police so let's just hop into the vehicle and what you want to do is to start stage one lighting which is your traffic advisors you um, d-pad left and that's gonna um, engage the first um, the first stage of the ELS lighting as you can see in this vehicle there's nothing in the um, in the front that's light, um, lit up it's only the back which is in orange to let traffic know to slow down when you hit the same button again which is only d-pad under controller and the left button left d-pad left button um, then it adds on um, stage 2 as you can see again the, there are only lights in the back known that there is an emergency situation going on all right at this stage you would not be able to engage a siren the siren only engages after you are at stage three in the vehicle lighting all right so we hit the same button again the third time and that's going to engage stage three all right now the the part that most people get confused with or don't know is that um how to engage the siren um i used to hold down the um B on the controller and B on the controller like this but you have to hold it down because as soon as you let it go the siren turns off so it only works when you turn it on all right now the way that you engage siren automatically where you don't have to um, hold any other um, button down to control it is by hitting down on the um, d-pad so once you hit so you see I turn it off I turn off my lights all right so now you hit one two three right you're full lighting mode you hit down and that engages your sirens all right now if you want to toggle through different steps of your sirens then you hit the b button all right so now you hit b and you, as you can see it changes the sound of the sirens all right so you hit b again and you see you go into another version of your siren and then four these are the four that i have um in store through the new york um city siren new nypd sirens that i downloaded into the game and you see when you hit it again it turns it reverts back to the stage one so you have one two three and four but heading the b button toggles through each one now if you want to um shut off lights and siren you hit the left button on the um, d-pad and that turns off sirens and lights at the same time now say i'm on stage three and i turn on my siren when you hop out of the vehicle your siren should still be running because your lights are still on all right so that's how you do it now if you want to go back into vehicle and you just want to cut off the sirens only then you hit down on the d-pad again and when you hop out of the vehicle you're still gonna have your lights on now if you want to um turn all of them off at the same time say you're out of your ve vehicle you finish with a call or something and you just want to um shut them all off you just hit left on the d-pad and that shuts off everything so i hope this was helpful for you um don't forget hit that subscribe button if you want to keep updated on mods and um 
hacks of how to mod Grand Theft Auto 5 especially and for LSPDFR hit that subscribe button to stay updated and for my gameplay and please like this video so it can spread so others who are having problems with this um, with this can also find it and know how to um, play the game flawlessly and enjoy it to the fullest thank you guys for stopping by thank you for your support god bless you all peace